What's up, everybody? Steven here. Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we're hopping into the Vampire Diaries episode number 20 of season number two called The Last Day. You would think this would be the finale, but it's not. Uh, the Last Day. Uh, last episode, uh, we essentially got a backstory uh, on Klaus and Elijah. A bit of that. Klaus is finally here, like actually here, not just Rick's body. I'm guessing Rick is okay. They didn't make a big deal out of what him like passing out there. So uh, Damon's still in his tortured self. You know, he still doesn't, he still can't seem to do the right thing all the time. So we'll see how that goes. Damon's an interesting character because I was editing an episode the other day that was going up on YouTube and man, that dude has done some fucked up shit. Yo. <laughs> and it just kind of, man, whenever I see it, it's like, damn, bro, you're, in, you, you're killing so many people. Uh, but we're going to hop in here. Have some fun. Have a good old time. Like, comment, subscribe. Here we go. All right. How do we break this curse? Well, the ritual itself is relatively straightforward. The ingredients, so to speak, you already know. I don't know where you are, but I need you. I've had an accident and I'm in the hospital. Wow. You're being uh, Please, compelled. Please, Tyler. Come home. You back? Because you had a terrible fall. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn, bro. What the fuck? People. You know there's a possibility this elixir won't work. <laughs> but what happens? Like... I don't want to mislead you. Jenna, put the crossbow down. Oh, okay, it's Rick Rick. Me. Stay away from me. What's going on? It's me, Elena. I swear, okay? He let me go. Klaus let me go. Prove it. How? Uh, first night you and I spent together, Jeremy walked in okay. right when I was... Okay, it's him. Okay. <laughs> Tyler. Hey, bro, where you been? How you doing? Please don't die. Damn, that's getting real good at lying. Pretending, I mean. Unless he's falling for her. Oh. Damon is the problem, not Caroline. We should focus on him. I shouldn't have involved you, Matt. Thank you for all of your help, but he, he involved I'll you. Take it from here. You didn't even remember anything until he brought that shit up. And so you don't remember. Bonnie will kill Klaus, and then all this will finally be over. If it works, it will work. You think it will work? I don't you even know what the plan is. Work. Bonnie Why still has to kill him. But Bonnie still has to die. There has to be another way. There isn't. You're gonna die, Elena. And then I'll come back to life. That is not a risk I'm willing to take. But I am. Oh, stop, stop. Damon, no! Damon, no! Oh my god. That's what I was saying. Now we can't even go through with the plan. Oh shit. What did you do? Huh? What did you do? You saved her life. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, I think you're gonna stab him. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah. He didn't kill him, he's good, he's good, he's not. Hit him in the stomach. Get out of here! Huh? Downstairs in the basement are some blood bags. Go get them, now. Go! Ooh. And he wasn't trying to kill you, bro. It wouldn't have worked anyway. Your problem, Damon, you talk a good game, but you don't actually know anything. She'll never forgive you. Okay with that. And never for a vampire. It's a very long time. Is it called the last day? Because it's Elena's last day as being human? <sighs> we guess to go. Tyler? Oh shit. Jules. I'm hanging in there. Good. This is weird, right? Yeah. Why do I like Tyler? <laughs> but I hate Jess from Gilmore Girl so much. I don't get it. <laughs> I should get going. They're both kind of jackasses, but for some reason I like Tyler. Oh. Oh, run. Run. They're gonna grab you. Wait, you're the sacrifice man. You're the vampire sacrifice? Wait, is Caroline? Let's go. Ah, oh, fuck. Did 
You gotta. No, I thought it was gonna be Catherine. I thought you were coming back to meet me. Right? Look, the ritual will happen tonight. So if you want to live to see tomorrow, don't screw it up. I mean, what if we just take Elena far away? Like, we take everybody Elena cares about and we bolt. If, if it would have happened and then, right, moments before everything went down, then I'd understand. But I don't think it's going to happen. I think you do know. I well, who's dumb enough to come back? Well, somebody had to invite him in. Damon, you like to uh, come in? Can't he invite her? Hey, oh no, she's compelled. She, that's why she can't. I mean, it's interesting. Because what if they do go that route and she like they just are setting it up this way where she's accepting it and then she becomes it? That'd be cool. That'd be different. It seems like they're setting it up for it not to happen. Like they're setting it up high expectations and then go away. Tell me what you've been doing. Making coffee. Now, I want you walk over to the window and stand in the sunlight what the you don't have a choice oh fuck yeah. and that's enough Ooh, shit good job too easy yep there we go Ooh. wait rick rick right Wait, is that her? What the fuck? It'd be selfish for me to ask you. That's true. Didn't stop Damon. He shouldn't have done what he did. Damon is selfish though, like 100 percent He did it because he loves you. And you know that, don't act surprised. But he did this to me, Stefan, which means I know that. Stefan was what, 18, My 19 future. when he died? Our lives so essentially together. he's 18, 19, right? And Damon was things I was supposed to deal with 20, 21 probably. Along. Maybe a little bit older than that. I was supposed to grow up. Mm. Decide if I want to have kids and start a family. Grow old. I was supposed to have a lifetime of those choices and I don't want to be a vampire and stuff. And I never wanted to be one. New plan. Oh, we don't have there we are. No, don't make her one then. <laughs> we just postponed this shit. It's starting. Oh, grab Boy Wonder. Let's go. Come on. Boy Wonder. <laughs> They're here. Got me all nervous. That's why I was saying that we should. Well, maybe you've done something stupid. Elena can't die, or can't be a vampire because she can't have kids, I love right? You. And there's no way in hell that show Legacies isn't about one of their kids. There's no way in hell. Like, Legacies has to be about some of these people's kids. And definitely her. Right, this show's like eight seasons long, and then Legacies is... No. She's already gone, Damon. What? Klaus came. He took her. I'll take care of it. It's like he's the big brother. He's like, damn it. Oh, we got problems, son. We got problems. Back up. Back up. Knock him out. Knock him out. Wait, what? Did he just bite you? He's coming here. I'm fine. He didn't bite you, right? It sounded like he got better. I tell you that you have to postpone the ritual. Didn't we already have this conversation? Yeah, but that was before I rescued your werewolf and vampire and killed your witch. Mm. Excuse me. And you can kill me for it. Is that the other werewolf? That's the other werewolf. The nice thing about werewolves is they tend to travel in packs. We have another werewolf. And then who's the other vampire? Where did the look? Thousand years. 
Wait, the other vampire's Damon. Right? Learn a thing or two. The other vampire's gonna be Damon. That's stuff. Jenna? No. Jenna? Jenna. You didn't Jenna? turn her, right? Hey, 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 Jenna. Jenna, why? I did everything that he asked. You're a vampire. You're a vampire. We got problems. Fuck. Fuck. Position. Oh. Sh was you the sacrifice? Oh my God! Somebody's one hundred percent. What is this, Damon? Oh, you're a damn. You are bit. Son of a bitch. You did get bit. You're gonna. You're gonna suffer like a. Fuck yeah, man. Too many people are in bad situations, bro. And I'm, I get too over, over, <laughs> to the top with the show. But fuck. Okay. Literally, so many people that are in bad situations. I feel somebody ain't making it through. Now, I could pick somebody that doesn't matter, like say Matt. But Matt's gonna—he's not gonna die. So it won't be Matt. It won't be Tyler. I'm always scared for Caroline. Always. I'm not even sure. Okay, so. When Rose. Wait. Wait. When Rose got bit and Damon was talking with the one girl, was there a way to save her? If there was, could we ask Tyler? And maybe Tyler knows? I don't know. So Jenna's a vampire. So that's definitely something. You could 100% be the person that dies. I haven't seen Rick in a while. I mean, we saw him with Dave and Stefan. Could be Rick. I haven't seen Bonnie or Jeremy. They're still in that cabin somewhere. Oh, man, dude. There's a lot going on, folks. I kind of want to give... I'm going to give the episode a 9. Just because I was hyped the whole time. I was over the top. I was excited. Shit's going down. Shit's crazy. I'm going to give it a nine. I don't know if it's a nine. But I'm so, I was so excited watching it that I'm going to give it a nine. So. So. <laughs> hmm. The only thing. I guess there isn't anything I didn't really like. But, you know, I save my tens and my, I mean, I usually save my nines and my tens for the emotional moments. But. I think this episode had enough goodness in it to make it a nine by itself. But we'll go with that. Damon doing the whole vampire thing with Helena. Smart ass move. Fucked up move. We didn't ask her. She, Because, you know, Helena makes it seem like she would rather die than, you know, what's about to happen to her. So I get it. I fully understand, like, her being mad. Now, when it comes to... Stefan kind of showing her things and throwing her on the walk, essentially... Trying to make her be okay with being a vampire. Even though, but I love that he kept saying, just say it. Like, just say it. For her to say it like she didn't want to be it. I like that. I thought that was actually really rock solid and I really enjoyed that. Um, Damon feeling bad. And I love the moment where Damon, you know, he's doing all this stuff by himself and he gets a phone call from Stefan and then he gets taken. And then... Stefan calls him and he's like, I'll take care of it. Almost like a big brother taking care of the problem. Willing to sacrifice himself to take care of the problem. I really like that move. I love Tyler and I love Tyler. Like I was mentioning during the reaction. I'm I don't get it. I don't get it though. Tyler's a douchebag, right? Well he was. He was an asshole. But he had an asshole father. But for some reason, I gravitate towards Ty like I'm pushing for Tyler to be with Caroline. Like, I want that. I think that's, a, I, like, I, I like that idea. But then, for those of you that watch my Gilmore Girls reaction, you guys know, I just really don't like Jess. But Jess kind of is like Tyler a little bit. He's, at the beginning, he was kind of douchey, I guess. So, I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe, maybe it's because in Gilmore Girls, I like Dean. And in here, I'm kind of indifferent to Matt. <laughs> so, I don't know. But we'll break it down. We'll go through it. I think there's a lot to break down here. So let's kind of dive right in. Like I said, I give it a nine. I was really into the episode.
Uh, I turn off the van. I turn off the subtitles here. Damon is not about this plan. He hates this plan. He doesn't like it. Yes, Elena has to die for this plan. I don't understand the plan, right? Because Bonnie still has to die. Bonnie still has to be the one that kills Klaus. Now, why? Did they mention? Maybe they mentioned. I missed it. That when he's in transition, he's as weakest, and that's when we can kill him. I don't remember. Because I don't get the plan, right? He's gonna, you know, Elena has to die, get the elixir, come back to life. But then, Bonnie still has to kill him. I just don't understand why, how Bonnie doesn't die in that process. Unless they mentioned it, which I might have just missed it. Damon's not about this, right? We see Klaus, his witch here, kill or hurt Tyler's mom. We got Damon being very upset. We got Rick coming over. He's saying he's not compelled no more. Or he's not, he's he's not not compelled. He's not Klaus anymore. Tyler comes back. It's awesome. Matt is starting to have doubts because Caroline is being regular and normal. And he's all like, wait a minute. He's either actually either doing the best acting of her job, of her life, or she is really just regular Caroline. But mom is in this whole thing about like, no, no, they're evil. They're evil. And I get it. You know, you got vampires like Damon who are evil and other vampires that are evil. So it makes sense. But like she said, I, she said, she said a quote here that didn't make sense. I shouldn't have brung you into this, bro. He brung you. You were, you forgot everything. He reminded, he brought it up when he found out about it. And then you just kind of put things together. I think that's how it went down. We get this whole conversation. Damon's upset. He goes upstairs. And we have this moment here. Great moment here. In these two where he, you can tell he cares and he's hurting. He doesn't want her to die. And he makes the decision. To make her vampire. And then the fight. Damon stabs. The whole thing. Um, Damon Klaus Damon makes a comment about we both know that that thing where the elixir wouldn't have worked Klaus doesn't say he's right uh, so this makes me think one of these is dying well, I guess this is probably her with what happened to her but this whole moment here I was like oh shit this is like I thought it was going to be like she was compelled or he was compelled or some shit but no nah, just regular it makes me believe one of them is dying but maybe it's just the fact that she got turned into a vampire and maybe she's going to come back a different person Maybe she is going to die. Uh, so other werewolf girls here, Caroline and Tyler are talking. They both, you know, they clearly want to say that they care about one another and want to be together, but they don't say it. They both get caught. There's two witches. Damon comes to, I don't know, to the bar. Klaus comes to the bar, says, don't do nothing stupid. Rick says, you're going to do something stupid. This whole conversation about this and Elena at the end saying she wanted to have Grow old, have kids, all this stuff. Feel it, man. Here, Rick had to let Damon in. Oh, where where are they? The cellar. Tyler and Caroline are speaking about stuff. All you know themselves and what's gonna happen. I thought this was great. Where she he made her walk into the sunlight and then she's just getting burned and I thought that was great. The whole witch situation, Damon's losing. And Matt fucking randomly shows up. So Matt followed Caroline or saw Caroline get taken somehow. I wish we would have seen that, but I guess it would have defeated the purpose of this reveal. He knocks him out. Save Tyler. We save Caroline. Well, Moon's out, so things are bad. Then we have this moment here where she starts to cry because she doesn't want to be a vampire. She doesn't want to you know, be a regular human. Klaus shows up. I thought he was going to do the biting and kill her there, but he didn't. So I am. I don't think she's gonna turn. I think that they're gonna kind of play the route that she's not gonna turn. I think the crazy finale is gonna be somebody dying probably. I don't know who it would be. Uh, uh, Tyler's turning. I I love the way that they transform in, into wolves in the show. It's so painful. It's pretty awesome. Um. So got an additional werewolf. Damon comes up to him, you know, talks about we're gonna have to postpone things, all that stuff. Why couldn't he? Why couldn't? Why couldn't Klaus just take Caroline? I mean, Catherine, because of the whole lifetime of misery thing he wants to give her, right? That's probably why he wouldn't want to kill her. He's like, no, I want to make sure you suffer forever because of what the problems that you caused for all these years. Um. So yeah, I was like, I was like, oh no, Damon is the other vampire. You're sacrificing. And then when running away from Tyler. 
Emma wakes up. He's like, wait. Like he made me. He made me call her on the reveal. Oh shit! It's Jenna. He is the other vampire now. And he and Damon's like, why didn't he take me? Why didn't he take me? Found out Damon got bit by the. And he is the dying. So. That's the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. Hopefully you guys did as well. Like, comment, subscribe. Picture for the full reaction. I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.